What's going on guys, EHP Labs athlete Zach Penny here. And today I'm gonna to talk you through my five fat loss hacks. So if your goal is dieting to lose a bit of body fat, these are the little tips and tricks that I've learned that I tend to do every single time I do a diet. So let's get started. Now, hack number one is to increase your NEAT and track it. So if you don't know what NEAT is, NEAT refers to non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So that basically means all the calories you're burning, not in the gym, essentially. So that's like literally walking around, doing housework, you know, doing dishes, anything like little fidgeting, that's your NEAT. NEAT is like the biggest part of your like caloric expenditure during the day. So to try and be mindful of that and not let that decrease when you get a bit tired and you find yourself wanting to sit more instead of standing or take the escalator instead of the stairs, those things happen when you're dieting. So you wanna be mindful of that. Now, one thing I do to control that is a tracker. So something like an Apple Watch or a Fitbit or whatever you wanna do, but having a tracker to just allow you to be a little bit more um, aware of your NEAT is a really good measure to make sure that it doesn't either decrease or you can increase it as you diet. So that's not to say that you need to track every single calorie you're burning, but just something like a step count, that's what I use this for, it's just a step count. So then every day I'll try to hit about 10,000 steps, and that way when I'm dieting, I don't think, oh, I'm getting a bit tired now, I only hit 6,000 today, that's all good. You know, I'll, I'll make sure I go for an extra walk, or wherever it may be. But basically it keeps me more active, which is what we want. Now the second fat loss hack is to be smart about your carbs. So a lot of people when they diet, they keep the same carb sources in. They might be used to cereal and rice, and then when they go to diet, they find themselves really hungry. So what I do when I diet is I go for really high volume, low calorie carbs. So something like a charisma potato in Australia, which is like a low carb potato, or even just a potato is gonna be a lot more filling than having cereal. So when I'm dieting, I tend not to have a lot of uh, cereals and really like carb dense foods like that. My carbs will come from like sweet potatoes, potatoes, because there's a lot more filling and it keeps you satisfied. So then for me, I get less cravings and it's much easier to stick to a low calorie diet when the carbs are much more satisfying. And the third hack is my fat loss stack. So I'm gonna talk you through the supplements that I'll be taking during a dieting phase, um, starting with my favorite supplement of all time, OxyShred. So OxyShred to me is one of the best fat burners you can get because this, it, it tastes amazing in any flavor, you can't go wrong. But not only does it help to boost energy levels, so I take it before a workout or cardio, but it also suppresses my appetite. So I'll probably find myself having a scoop of OxyShred before exercise, and then when I get a little bit, I'll feel like something sweet or a little bit hungry during the day, 11, like mid-morning, I'll probably have another scoop of OxyShred. I wouldn't have more than two to three scoops in a whole day. Um, usually two a day is, is where I cap it. Um, but really, it tastes amazing, and that can help burn a little bit more calories in the gym. Now, something like creatine. People get scared of creatine when they're dieting because they're a bit scared to hang on to water. But what creatine is gonna do is it's gonna increase the water inside your muscle cell, which is what we want, because then that means more strength, more muscle retained. That's what we want on a cut. So creatine, five grams daily, I keep that in. Another one is protein. So isopept or OxyWay. Isopept is great for post-workouts, very fast digesting. A lot of people when they're dieting, their protein can be too low, and then that is just gonna mean more muscle loss, which again, is not what we want. So I always keep shakes in, especially when you can make desserts, which we'll talk about in a second. I have maybe two scoops of whey a day, purely because it just tastes amazing and it never feels like you're dieting. Favorite flavor, I'm gonna say, is vanilla OxyWay and then the chocolate isopept is, is awesome. Um, now, another one which people don't really take a lot is sleep. So people like to get no sleep for some reason. Me, I love my sleep and I notice a considerable difference in my physique when I'm sleep deprived. So OxyRem, amazing. Now, I'm not gonna say this is gonna burn more fat directly, but I feel like indirectly, very powerful because it just knocks me out and I'll get a good eight hours sleep with that. Three capsules before bed. Um, and that is my fat loss stack. You can always add a few other things like carnitine in there as well, but the OxyShred does have it in there and I have a lot of this a day. So for me, I feel like this is the bare minimum. Now, hack number four is a little trick, sugar-free jelly. I've been doing this for a long time. You can pretty much get this anywhere. This is, in Australia, it's Aeroplane Jelly Light. Um, but this is, it has like 20 calories per serve. And if you really feel like something during the day where you want something sweet to hit the sweet tooth and you can't, you know, you don't really count for any calories, this is purely protein, really. So something like that, for me, is like very beneficial in the dieting phase because I'll slam down a whole bowl of jelly and it's 20 calories, so it doesn't even do anything. It's basically just a few grams of protein, that's it. So something like that, really, really good. And my final tip is to implement a daily dessert. Now, if you guys follow me, you'll know I always am a big fan of you know before bed meals, especially during dieting phases. So one of my favorite ones is using protein, uh, either banana or vanilla works amazing, frozen berries and a little bit of almond milk, blend it up and it's like a little ice cream. So it's the best thing. And if you have something like that in every day, I feel like it's good to just implement your plan from the beginning because that way you're not gonna feel like you're dieting and you can't have sweet things. Like that tastes literally like as good as any ice cream. 
It's amazing. So I would always keep that in every day, especially at the end of the day, because you're not gonna find yourself upset that you've got no more food left, or you ran out of calories, and you've got something sweet to look forward to as well. So big, big fan of that. I think it makes a huge difference, because especially when you've got something to look forward to, you're not gonna to wanna to pig out at every meal of the day. You'll be like, nah, I'll get my sweet thing at the end of the day. That's kind of like the psychology of it, works really well with me. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this little video on fat loss hacks. And if you wanna see more on hard gainer hacks or bulking hacks, just let us know in the comments. See you next time.